okay welcome back guys welcome to today's lesson on start um, rcdc today we are going to be designing the column and if there's there's no shear wall so column and wall to create new projects so we'll allow it load a little bit so it needs to create a lot of connectivity then we'll start So let's give it a little while for it to load. Okay, so you can see our plan. This is the three meter level, and this is the six meter level. So, if for example, now if you have a floating column at the six meter level and you select six meter level, we are going to see the floating column at this point. So, for now, there's no floating column, so we are good to go. The next thing we'll do is go to settings, design settings, then select what you want. So I want my column to be unbraced. I'll leave it as unbraced. I'll click OK. I don't need to change anything for my column. Then I'll go straight to reinforcement settings. I just want to use 12 mm and 16 mm. Then my steel up 8. Shear wall. I'm not using shear wall, but I can leave it 10, 12. Okay, so this is my column, my wall, my tie style. So I want it to be closed. Okay yes then my concrete strength and concrete steel this is what i want so 500 and 500 so my concrete cover i want it to be 40 concrete cover also 40. okay so what i'll do now is go back to settings load case dead live Reduce and um, roof life, then bringing them in. Okay, so from there, I'm going to import from the analysis. So, yes, then click OK. Once I'm done, then I'll start my design. So, same way we have if your column fill, you can increases on rcdc you can increase the concrete strength the um steel strength and you can increase the concrete size the column size rather so designing column so let's wait so all column passed and we are suggested to use 40 12 and the links at 225 center to center okay so we are assuming if column C14 failed at this floor, you can right click on it and you can see it's the design section. Okay, so the design section and you can change the section size 450 and redesign. So you can see it at this point. Okay, but it didn't fail so close it and I could to go 
the next thing you are going to do now is report you can do the text style you can check the detailed drawing this is the detailed drawing for let's say column one c1 that's all so it's generating this is the detailed drawing for column one c1 three to six and zero to three okay then you can create elevation for column one c1 let's say one c1 okay you can also work on your detailing style to suit what you want so we are waiting for the columns so it's for you to generate the column elevation okay so you can see your column elevation yes okay so 40 12 yes sections it drew okay so from there you can check your calculation so let's say for column one c1 you can also open it so i guess one for one c1 okay yes. so you can see your calculation okay so this is the critical load decision to design this this so you can see it's dead load this moment this the radius of gyration slenderness ratio okay and scroll is not slender okay so you scroll 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 you can confirm it manually and we are good to go so you can see the spacing for it okay then the last but not the least you can check you can generate bar bending schedule you can also generate bar bending schedule for the slab for the beam also so let's use how to generate bar bending schedule for the columns so generate bar bending schedule so for all columns let's just say for all columns so for example now the bar length is a full iron rod is 40 feet that's about 12 meters okay so you can do this the bar round off let me round it off at every 25 meter by element by shape code so if you use shape code it's a put from the code you have so let me use by reverse shape and generate you can choose spreadsheets okay so i'm waiting for the bar bending shade to be generated it takes a little while for it to generate the bar bending shadow to generate it okay so it has generated the bar bending schedule for each column okay so we have to zoom in I just want to zoom this window okay, so you can see my bar bending shadow now so you can see the bar shape okay okay so it's telling me for column 116 now I need to buy um, 8 mm I need to buy 9 kg of it and 12 mm I need to buy 26 kg so now what it's telling me so thank you for watching today's video on the column in the next video we are going to be talking about the footing the part footing thank you very much